Praise God, brothers and sisters. Turn with me to 1 Corinthians 3, 12 through 15. I'm coming from the New King James Version, the NKB, which reads, If anyone builds on this foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each one's work will become clear. Fire will test each one's work. If anyone works, endures he will receive a reward if anyone work is burnt he will suffer loss but he himself will be saved yet so as through fire first corinthians 3 12 to 15. pray with me father god let the zeal of god return back into your real servants let us go back into the upper room we need to hear that sound from heaven we don't need to hear from men filled with demonic intelligence and demonic ability we need to hear that sound of rain that sound of power we need fresh fire to burn within us. We need a Mount Carmel experience where the real prophet called down real fire power from heaven. It's time, Father, it's time for a demonstration of your power like never before. Your churches is filled with all kinds of ungodly and worldly lusts. By your grace and love, bring us to a place of genuine repentance that out of our weaknesses, we might become strong. And we say what Samson said, Lord God, let me feel your power one more time. Lord God, let me feel your power one more time. Lord God, let me feel your power one more time. Bring back the fire and anointing one more time. Show forth your strength like you did before in me. Hear us, hear our cry. Hear us, Heavenly Father, and thank you for the peace in Jerusalem and throughout the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. All of us have choices. How we will invest our talents and resources. What we will do with our time. What are our priorities? Focusing on immediate circumstances. It can seem easiest to focus on our current needs and desires. Not worry about eternal consequences or even tomorrow. Filled with this attitude, many simply seek escapes to accumulate assets and indulge in short-term pleasures to pursue personal fame regardless of how temporary it might be oh God but the Bible reminds us that a day will come when everything we do will be tested by fire some work will survive but some will be burnt the Bible calls this wood hay and stubble and our theme on today is wood hay and stubble these are the temporary things that can seem important and desirable in the moment, but ultimately, which don't last. In fact, they can distract us and distort our attitudes and perspectives. These distractions may not prevent us from spending eternity with Jesus but they can change the nature of our reward. 
if the work of our lives is based on the right foundation, we will be rewarded. But if our work fails the test, we can lose it all. So what am I saying? Let me give an example. I watched T.D. Jake's meeting one time as he was talking to the men in the audience. He was letting them know that they have been misunderstood. He understood that they were raised in households where they were told because they're men or little men they could not cry. He was letting them know that he understood that men have feelings and that sometimes they want to cry. Yet because of the world and how the world see men, men are not supposed to cry. Well, I've watched movies and I've seen in movies how white men cry. And I personally believe that to see a man cry demonstrates strength, not weakness. However, T.D. Jakes called these men to the front of the stage so that he could comfort them, so that they could comfort each other and hug each other. That was a good idea. And yet, I question comforting men who truly have not demonstrated a growth. First, the most important thing to learn is how to love yourself so that you can love other people. What do you mean, Pastor? demonstrated that they are not manipulative, that they are not dishonest, that they understand how to be loyal. That's what I mean. And until men get it in their heads, especially men that want relationships, that these three things are important in a relationship, honesty, faithfulness, and trust. Our system will continue to break down. We will continue to see divorces. Men must be honest about who they are. So when a woman falls in love with them, they fall in love with that man. Not some man that the man made up to betray himself to be. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And the same goes for women. Philip's translation. Simply. If we make the wrong choices, we will lose our reward. Today, think about the choices you are making with your time and resources. Have you been investing in wood, hay, and stubble? What will happen when your works are tested by fire? Make sure that you are laying the right foundation and ready to face God. Invest your life in his kingdom. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Father, I commit my time, talents, and treasures to you. And if you agree with me, brothers and sisters, Say this prayer with me. Father, I commit my talent, time, and treasure to you. Help me to seek first your kingdom. 
I want my works to endure when I stand before you and thank you for the peace in Jerusalem. In Jesus' name, amen.